Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. I hope everyone had a most glorious day today. And our precious Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's see. It's 11.33 p.m. here on 22 January. And I have a vision and Father's Word. But I am going to give you, for anyone that do not know or does not know, it seems like every time, ever since I stopped working in the professional environment, my vocabulary is going downhill. But um, for those who do not know, our blessed King, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. As Father said in one of his messages, I think it was yesterday's, run into King Yeshua's arms because he aches to hold you. He loves all of his creation. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our Holy Father, Jehovah Elohim, Adonai, our mighty El Shaddai, the love of our hearts. I come to you and I worship you. I praise you. And I completely adore you. I come to you through your precious son, King Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah of the world. And Father, I was just telling you in prayer that your precious Son is every gift, every present, every blessing, every surprise to me. He is everything to me. He is my first love. And I am nothing without Him. He clothes me in my righteousness. In His righteousness, not mine. He gives me his righteousness. He makes me holy. And he makes me perfect in him. And I know I am strong in him. And I know I belong to him. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And when the enemy comes at me like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against him. Thank you, Father, for your precious word, your mighty word that slays the enemy, that keeps the enemy <clears throat> away from your faithful. I know you allow some things, but you give us your protection and your peace and your contentment through your precious Son, your beautiful Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Father. You're a good, good Father. You're a good, good Father. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are.
and I'm loved by you. That's who I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. You're a good, good father. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. And I'm loved by you. That's who I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. I love you. I'm perfect Father Yahweh. I love you, beautiful Holy Spirit. And I love you, precious Son. King Yeshua HaMashiach. And King Yeshua is perfect, holy, and righteous name. Amen and amen. All right, so I have this vision. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it. I received it yesterday. I think it was yesterday morning. Father had given me several visions, and it was stemming from the night prior and I think this one was yesterday morning. Of course, I can't remember from one day to the next, so <laughs> you can look at the dates from the last visions. But I think that's the I think that's right. Okay, I see King Yeshua as the lion of the tribe of Judah with fire. I then see a picture of light against dark. And it's hard to describe, but it's just as it sounds. It's evenly halved up, and I just see the light on the left side and the dark on the right side. It's evenly halved, and that's just how I saw it. As King Yeshua is walking, he is pushing the dark backwards. Then I see all of his saints pushing with him. I see this as I am shown a diagram of earth and King Yeshua and all of his saints continuing to push the dark right off of the earth. They just push it right off of the earth. That's what I see in the diagram. All the way to the right, just it falls off. All the earth is filled with light. Amen. King Yeshua is the light of the world and the Father is the Father of lights. Revelation 5.5 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. John 1.4-5 In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 111 1. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 102 a.m. on 22 January 2016. My sweet, precious daughter of mine's own heart, write my holy and true words for all to hear and see and obey. It is getting more and more evident to me that my children are going to be so stiff-necked they will not hearken unto my voice. I have given messenger after messenger my warnings, and still my children do not bow down to my son. The trees will be barren. The water is going to dry up. The food will disappear, for the crops will fail. There will be hardship after hardship. But my faithful children, they will have water to drink and food to eat. They will have God's heavy protection over them. It is going to be very ugly and will continue to worsen. My children, my haughty, my backslidden, my lost, once my merciful time runs down, this will be it. 
You may say to yourself that God will never show his wrath, for he loves his creation too much. Is that a chance that you want to take with your eternity? For you, my children of earth, could die any moment. There are no guaranteed tomorrows. Do you know what it means to die in your sins? It means you will have left this earth with my wrath against you. It means that you will be judged by my mighty word on the day of the great judgment day. It means that you will spend all of eternity in hell. There is no purgatory where you can try to earn your way back into my heavenlies. That is the devil's lie. Remember that my word speaks the perfect truth and there is no darkness in me. However, if you listen to man's doctrines and philosophies, they are not of me. Children of the soon-to-be-stricken earth, turn to your very Creator. I hold your every substance in my hands. Turn to my blessed and holy Son Yeshua, God in the flesh. He will save a repentant heart. Bow down to Him and give Him glory. Father Yahweh Elohim, I am that I am, has spoken. And I'll leave you with God's wonderful blessing to his children. Of course, I don't have it marked. I keep moving the bookmark. Numbers chapter 6, verse, verses 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the holy mighty, perfect, and conquering name of our King, Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord, Amen and Shalom.